Good morning, kindergarten. It is Wednesday today, and it is a wacky Wednesday. Wait till you read our message. But first, remember, it is beach week, so each morning we're going to have a beach greeting. Today, we're going to do the hula greeting. So you have to get your hula hands ready, and you're going to wave them like this, and then we're going to wave them like this, and we're going to say good morning, friends, as we do our hula greeting. Here we go. Good morning, friends. Great hula dancing. All right, let's go ahead and read our morning message. Remember, I said today is Wacky Wednesday. Listen for all the silly things. Here we go. May 20, 2020. Oh, that's super cool. Look how many 20s are in our date today. There's one, two, three. Dear kindergartners, Hmm, do you see anything wrong in this line? Oh, ooh, I do. I see the D. Remember, we don't write an uppercase letter in the middle of a sentence. So I'm going to write lowercase d. Today is men's day. Wait a second. Today is not men's day. It is Wednesday. We need to change the M to a W. Do you remember what kind of W? Uppercase. If you said uppercase, you are super smart. Today is Wednesday. That sounds better. There are only 700 more days of school. 700? I can't do 700. Wait a second. This might be part of the wacky message. What part do you think is wrong in 700? Remember yesterday I said there were eight days left. What comes after eight if you're counting backwards. Seven, which means I'm gonna cross off those two zeros. Whew, that's more like it. You have reading with Mrs. Feld camping. Mrs. Feld camping? That doesn't sound right. Oh, I need to get rid of the ing to make it say Mrs. Feld camp. Math with Mrs. Coleman and cooking with Mr. Mustar. Uh-oh, Mr. Mooster is going to cook with you today? I don't think that's right either. Let's cross out cooking. And what do you have with Mr. Mooster today? You have gym activities. So we're going to write G, Y, and M. That sounds more like it. Whoops. Let's try that again. Oh, I'm going to go back over here. It clicked off my pen for some reason. There we go. Gym. I will read chapter two in Junie B. Jones is a graduation girl. I hope you liked chapter one and chapter two is gonna be kind of funny. Love, Mrs. K. All right, your seesaw attendance post for today is during your math lesson, Mrs. Coleman is gonna challenge you to write your numbers to 100 today. So I'm gonna challenge you to write your numbers to 100 on paper and share a picture with me. I want you to do it on paper, so if you need extra room, you can do it on the back. It might even take two pieces of paper. Then when you're done, have mom or dad take a picture of you holding up your paper so I can see you did it. All right, next is our last student shout out. We have come to our very last kindergartner. So starting tomorrow, we won't be doing any more daily student shout outs. Now, if for some reason I forgot you, please let me know because I could have forgotten somebody. I tried to do a really good job of keeping track, but I think we're good. I think we have one more person today, so I'm going to give you their clues. All right, this person is another boy. They have two letters in their name that are the same, and they come at the end of this person's name. This person really likes Pokemon cards. They have a huge collection of them. This person has younger brothers. They like Legos. And they are a really great reader. Can you think about who are, oh, one more clue. This person has the same name as someone else in our class. Can you think about who our last student of the day is? It's Will R. Thank you, Will R, for being so patient and waiting till the very end for your turn. But now we're going to write your name in the box. So we're going to write Will, and we'll write R, because we always call him Will R. So we're going to write a capital W, 
for will. An I, and the two letters that are the same are two L's. And then I'm going to write an R, and I'm going to write an uppercase because it's the first letter in his last name. All right, let's count how many vowels are in his name. And I only see one, the I. So I'm going to circle the I, and I'm going to write a one on the first line. Then he has one, two, three, four consonants. All right, one plus four. Oh, here's another easy addition problem. We have one plus four more. So you can just go four plus one, that's the easiest. Or you can go one, two, three, four, five. Will has five letters if you count the R when we say Will R. So let's get ready now. This is our last student shout out of the year. It has to be the biggest, the best, the loudest. Except if you have a baby sleeping, just pretend to be loud. All right, are you guys ready? Are you ready, Will? Here we go. Three, two, one. Good morning, Will! We're so excited! Oh, you've waited the whole year for your name to be on here! I can't believe it! It's your turn today! We hope you have a great day of learning and a wonderful week! Talk to you later! Have a great day! Oh my goodness! Oh, that was a lot of energy from me that I had to give out for that one. That was fun! Okay, next we're gonna do our beach feelings. And today I said we were gonna look for words that talk about how the beach feels. And it could be how it feels when you touch it, it could be how it feels when you actually feel it, or how it makes you, um, like does it make you happy or sad or excited? Or maybe um, uh, can you hear something? Um, can you smell something? All right, let's look and see if we can find the feelings. It's called beach feelings. I think the beach has feelings, just like me and just like you. I think the sand feels squishy. <gasps> I heard a feeling word right there, something that you might feel on your feet or when you touch it. <gasps> squishy, so I'm gonna underline squishy. That's a good feeling word. And the ocean feels quite blue. <gasps> I'm gonna circle or underline blue, and you know why? It's not talking about that the ocean feels like the color blue. It's talking about a different kind of blue. I'll give you a clue. Oh, I'm feeling blue today. Blue means sad or it might just kind of feel lonely because it's so big and sometimes there aren't any boats around or people around. The sunshine feels so warm. Oh, I just heard something else you might feel at the beach. The warmness of the sunshine as it shines down on my skin and the water feels so cool. Cool, because on a hot day, it feels really good to be in the water. I feel like jumping in. So in our poem today, we found squishy, blue, which means sad, warm, and cool. Great job. Tomorrow, we'll do something else fun with our poem. Today, we're going to look at our calendar. We're going to write in the next number. And today's number comes after 19 the end of the teen numbers. Now we're going to start the 20s. Whoops, that's kind of a funny two. It looks like a little snake at the end. A two and a zero. And then let's go ahead and fill in our pattern. I'm going to go way back here because I need lots of practice before I know what comes next. We have butterfly, or sorry, bird, butterfly, flower. Bird, butterfly, flower. I'm going to move a flower up there. All right, kind of think about what might come tomorrow. Let's move over the arrows. Tomorrow is Thursday. That means today was Wednesday. Yesterday was Tuesday. Remember, in two days, we have our beach party and our talent show. It's going to be at 10 o'clock, and I will send a link on this day. Not today, but on the morning of Friday. And then also, don't forget, next Thursday, and I have to remember to put that in for tomorrow, next Thursday, May 28th, we have a drive through for you to come with your parents in your car and wave at all the teachers. 
It will start at one o'clock. And remember, you're not going to get out of your cars. You're not going to bring anything to give to the teachers. Just, you can make a sign and hold it up. You could decorate your car like it's a float in a parade. You can honk your horn. We'll be playing music outside for you to hear. We'll be waving and cheering and saying hello to you as a way to say um, kind of a goodbye for the end of the school year before we see you in the fall again. All right, let's go to our next part, and that is our weather. And today, it looked like today is going to be a little bit more sunny, maybe some clouds, but here's kind of some clouds and sun, so I'm hoping it's a little warmer today. I know Eleanor wanted to fill up her pool. All right, next we're going to do our tallies, and we started one yesterday, so I'm going to write another one going down today. So now instead of 11 days, I just have to switch the second digit, the number in the ones place, and I'm going to write a two, so I have 12 days of school in May. All right, the last thing we're going to do for today is count by twos, and we're going to go all the way to 100 today. Whoops, I'm going to try to move it. Right here, I'm kind of covering up the 100, but you'll know that 100 is last. So today, you can think of an exercise that you could do. It could be dancing, it could be twists, it could be stretching, but I want you to count by twos with me. Are you guys ready? Okay, here we go. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60, 62, keep going, 64, 66, 68, 70, 72, 74, 76, 78, 80, 82, 84, 86, 88, 90, 92, 94, 96, 98, 100. Oh, that was a lot of counting. Great job, kindergartners. Remember, today I want you to write your numbers all the way to 100. Take a picture of it and send it to me for your seesaw post. Have a great day. Bye.